everybody. Thank you for coming back and checking out another episode of Unboxing Treasures. I am Jay. If you are new here, I hope you enjoy the content. I hope you enjoy the video that you're about to see. Today we have some Toy USA boxes. We have two $60 scavenger hunt boxes, and then we have three $200 Toy USA mystery boxes. So, these $60 boxes, um, it's kind of like a scavenger hunt. They do a bunch of boxes. I don't remember the number exactly, but I'll uh, put a picture up right here so we can see what we're going after. So you can see there in these $60 boxes, there is a chance to get some of these. And you see these, there's multiple rows here. But just looking at some of the stuff we'd like to get, just right off the top bat, the top row, the Shazam, the Dr. Manhattan, the Rey Mysterio, those would be cool. Second row, wouldn't mind getting the Green Goblin, Metallic Chase, the Superboy, um, the Battlestar Galactica pop would be really cool. Um, one thing that caught my eye uh, was that Star Wars Rebels Glow in the Dark Ahsoka. I would really like to get that one. Um, so if we, if we get that one, we'll definitely consider it a win. But there's still a lot of other cool stuff even below that. There's the um, the, the American Horror Story. There's uh, some Creature from the Black Lagoon, the Wolfman, um, Dark Phoenix, Yondu. There's some Game of Thrones pops. There's a Mumra, some Kill Bill, some other Star Wars Rebels pops. There's an OG Ghost Rider down there, uh, Macho Man. So... I know the odds aren't in our favor on hitting one of these big boys, but um, there is a lot of cool stuff to get. So let's see what we got. We do have two of these $60 boxes. I don't remember how many pops were in there. Looks to be like maybe four. So let's just hope there's not a bunch of peanuts in here. But never know. All right, no peanuts. Looks like all bubbles. And I probably opened it from the wrong side, but that's all right. So, okay, so it's the bottom, so I'm not seeing anything. Okay, so we got one in a protector and three Lucy's. So let's start with the first Lucy. We got, okay, we got a Gamer vs. Thor. Amazon exclusive. I don't really know anything about this one value wise. Alright. Uh, next. Alright. Our next Lucy. We got. Okay. Kevin Malone with Chili from The Office. That's a neat one. I uh, don't collect The Office pops. Um, I have an autograph of Dwight Trout, and I would like an autograph of uh, Michael Scott, maybe Jim Halpert, Pam Beasley, a few of the others, not all of them. But this one has a little bit of damage on it, nothing major. Alright, and our last Lucy we got, okay, we got another Office Pop. This is the OG Dwight Schrute. This might have some decent value on it, I don't know. Alright, so let's get into our Pop with the protector and we got <laughs> okay that's an OG Thor I actually had, did not have this one for a while and I really wanted this this was up near the top of my list as far as affordable Marvel pops I love this Thor I mean the outfit is awesome and it was an ECC exclusive but not too expensive fortunately so I was able to acquire it but very very cool so why don't we open up both boxes and then we will just get values all at the same time for these guys. And then after this guy. Right, so this should be, yep, yeah, these are on the bottom again. So it looks like the same thing, looks like three Lucy's and a protector. Okay, so first Lucy we got. Okay, we got, oh, Moff Gideon, glow in the dark. That's cool. If y'all have not watched Moff, Moff Gideon and the Mandalorian, what are you waiting for? 
It's an awesome show. All right, our next Lucy. Okay, we got Wizard Deadpool, Barnes & Noble exclusive. This one has a little bit of damage on it. Catch that right there. I don't know if you're able to see it or not, but it's a neat one. All right, our last Lucy. Oh, cool. The Joker as Jack Frost. Huh? I haven't seen this one in person before. I like it. I'm not a collector of some of these one-off characters in their Christmas gear, but that's a really neat one. They did that really well. All right, and our protector is, boom. Okay, Thor, Ragnarok, Valkyrie. No idea on this, no idea on her. So, all right guys, I'll be right back with some prices. All right guys, we are back, so, Bringing up the rear is the uh, OG Dwight Troot at $10. These next two coming in at $13. Kevin Malone and Game Reverse Thor. Next two coming in at $16. Valkyrie and Wizard Deadpool. Coming in at 20, the Joker, Jack Frost. Coming in at 30, Moff Gideon, Glow in the Dark Target. And our big hit from the two boxes was the Thor. He's coming in at $31. All right, guys, so not too bad for a scavenger hunt box. I mean, you're taking a gamble trying to get something big. Um, let's take a look at that picture one more time. And you can tell we did not hit anything on the picture. The Moff Gideon was not even in a protector. Not sure why the Valkyrie was in a protector. She wasn't even $20. But maybe we'll have some better luck with the $200 boxes. Alright guys, so I'm going to put these aside and then I'm going to get that $200 box. And then we can bust that open. All right, guys, so I'm going to put a picture up right now of the $200 box. So you see here, there's 25 pops, and these boxes were one pop per box. So I'm guaranteed to get three of the pops on this picture. Now, it is a risk. Not all these boxes are going to be worth $200. Um, but these are the pops that I'm really interested in. Would love the Deadpool, but... The Gogo Yubari is the one that I probably want the most. That would be a really cool pop. I've been tra trying to track that down for a while now. I haven't been able to find one in good condition that I like. But that would be a really cool one. Um, the Kurt Cobain I have, but that would be another cool one to have. That one has good potential for trades and it's been going up and up and up. The uh, Glow in the Dark Creature from the Black Lagoon, that would be a cool one. Um, that second row there, the Moon Knight, I'd love to get the Moon Knight, or that Grand Admiral Thrawn. Fruit Brute, I've kind of slowed down a little bit on the ad icon collecting, so, I mean, that'd be a cool one, not necessarily one I'm after. Um, those bottom two rows, uh, the Holographic Emperor, that would be a cool one. Um, the Concept Series, Boba Fett, that would be a cool one. So, there's a lot of pops on there that I would... Be excited to get. Um, hopefully, we can stay away from the Attack on Titan pops, the uh, the Avengers Thor pops. Um, but aside from that, I mean, we'll be pretty happy with whatever we pull. All right, guys. So they put all three of my orders in one box. So Toy USA is reputable. I trust them. So I imagine that there's going to be three separate boxes in here. And there are plenty of bubble wrap and three separate boxes. So we got box number one, box number two, box number three. These are all pretty heavy, so I'm assuming they all have stacks or armors or some kind of hard protector. 
which you would expect as all these pops are over $100, I believe. So, let's see. Let's feel about the same. They all feel about the same, so we'll just start with this one here. All right, guys. All right, these might be a little tricky to open. All right, so, okay. We'll show you guys first. Of course, the top full again is the metallic Deadpool. So the first one that we got, oh no. All right. Hoping to avoid this one and a few of the others, but what are you gonna do? Not sure the value on this one. Have to look it up at the end. But there's bedtime bear. All right. Again, 25 boxes can't all be winners, but hopefully at least one of these will be something for the collection to keep. loose all right so attempt number two come on come on go go what do we got okay Kurt Cobain not bad at all like we said duplicate but this is a very good one I think he's up north of I think he's up around 250 now but we will check prices here in a minute so, all right, we did definitely overvalue on my, that one. Um, the bedtime bear, I, I don't know. I do not think that's a $200 pop. I do not. So that, I mean, that's the second row. That might very well be the best pop that we hit, but you never know, it's all random. We could get the Deadpool. We, st we could still get Go-Go. All right, get this fry it open a little bit. All right. All right, guys. Wish me luck. Let's get that go-go. No Attack on Titan. No Thor. What do we get? Oh, cool. We got two of the ones on the top. This is the glow-in-the-dark Gemini exclusive creature from the Black Lagoon. That's awesome. We might have got... Two of the best hits. All right, guys. I will be right back with some prices. All right, guys. So we did not do bad at all. Um, our first one, we knew this one wasn't one of the heavy hitters. This one, um, it's only coming in at 140 for a bedtime bear. But Creature from the Black Lagoon, Glow in the Dark, is coming in at 220, and Kurt Cobain is coming in at 250. So overall, we hit $610, spent $600, so we came in over value. After the shipping and everything, we probably lost a few dollars, but some of these pops might go for more than PPG. To Kurt Cobain, I know he's a desirable pop, and I do have, have one. I'll have to find out which box is better. Mine's pretty pristine, but... All right, guys, so very cool. Got some cool stuff from Toy USA. Um, I cannot complain. The scavenger hunt boxes, we didn't really get what we were after, but we knew the odds of that was was pretty low but for the $200 boxes we knew all the possibilities and we got some cool pops we didn't get our go-go but we got some cool pops all right guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please hit the like button if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so when we drop future videos you can be informed and come hang out and watch with us but that is all that I have for today have a good one